What's up everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. So today we're going to be installing a new set of custom leather seat covers to my wife's 2021 Ram 1500. Now the awesome folks over at Custom Interiors, that's spelt with a K not a C, they actually sent me over a set of these leather seat covers to try out and give them my feedback. So they did send these seat covers to me at no cost, but they wanted me to install them on my truck, test them out, try them out, and give them my honest feedback. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. But before we get started, let's check out the interior cloth seats on the 2021 Ram 1500. That way we can come back later and compare the two. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's check it out. Okay, so right here is my wife's 2021 Ram 1500. This has the 5.7 liter Hemi with the e-torque system. So let's go ahead and open up the front door and check it out. Okay, so this is the interior of the 2021 Ram 1500. It is a little dirty right now. We just haven't had any time recently to detail this truck, but these are the cloth seats. Now this is a big horn edition, so it has the power seats with the cloth, but this is what the cloth seats look like. So I just wanted to show you what that looks like. Let's check out the back seat. That's what the back seat looks like there. So this should give you a pretty good idea on how these cloth seats look. And then once we put the new seat covers on, we'll check it out and see how it looks. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what we're working with. All right, let's go ahead and open up this box real quick. Again, be very careful opening up the box because again, you don't want to cut into your seat covers. So just be very careful when doing that. Now, one thing I just want to mention, you typically want to install these when it's a little warmer outside, maybe 50 to 60 degrees or warmer. But unfortunately, we've just had a whole lot of bad weather here and it's been kind of chilly outside. So if you are going to be installing these in a colder climate, just make sure you bring them inside the house for a good 24 to 48 hours. Let them kind of warm up and stretch out and that'll make installation go a little easier. So let's go ahead and open some of these up. So again, it looks like we have some headrests here. Again, but initial impressions, I mean, these are pretty much just a slip on headrest, but they definitely feel really nice. Nice quality leather feel, look great. Stitching looks good. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so there's some headrests. This looks to be a seat portion here. I'll try to see if I can get it close enough so you can see. So there is a little perforations in the middle seating area there, which will allow this material to breathe. But it has some nice contours and some nice stitching that really just looks pretty good. So again, that's a seat portion there. Looks to be another seat portion. These are probably front seats. This is probably for the back seat on the wider bench area here. Now again, these are just the front facing cover of the seat. They're not really covering anything underneath the seat. The straps go under the seat. So they're not gonna be 100% coverage. These are just covering the top of the seat, which is what you see. But if you flip the back seat up, you're gonna see the factory cloth seat underneath. But as far as a general exterior seat cover goes, these look pretty good so far. Okay, here's another seat portion right here. This looks to be the back portion, which looks really good. It actually even has a built-in seat headrest cover here. And then it looks like this can zip down for your center console to fold down. So that's kind of nice. Another seat portion. And this looks like to be the backrest for probably the front two seats. So that looks really nice. Now the front seats have a full coverage, which means it's gonna cover the front and the back. And the back actually does come with a pocket. So you actually do get pockets on the back seat of your seat covers. And it has the cutouts up top for your headrest posts to come through. But yeah, that's gonna be for the two front seats there. So let me go ahead and take a minute checking out how to put these in the truck and we'll be right back with an update. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with the passenger side front seat. So what you wanna do is take your bottom seat cushion, okay? There's two straps with metal clips. They're gonna go towards the front. You have two larger straps with the buckle that are gonna go towards the back of the seat underneath. So you basically have to tuck these straps that have the buckle under the side of the seat, kind of in between the paneling and the seat, tuck it down under there so it goes under the seat to connect. And then these plastic oval buckles here, you're gonna shove them under the seat and kind of use your fingers to wedge them up behind the seat and that'll stop the seat cover from sliding forward. So you're just gonna slide it in position, just like this. Okay, kind of pull it into position. I find it easier to grab the back of the seat cover here and kind of roll it up a little bit and then kind of push and tug to get that seat cover really stretched into there. And then just go ahead and start tucking that flap underneath with those little buckles. Okay, and just use your fingers under there to get those buckles to flip up underneath the seat and then that'll keep it from sliding forward. So then the front straps are in the front. Make sure the strap doesn't go over top of the release handle here that slides the seat forward and back. You go above it, slide it underneath, and about midway through the seat, there's a metal bracket. Just go ahead and hook this metal hook on that metal bracket. If you have to, you can always look underneath. Okay, there's one. And take the other one under there and just find a spot to hook it to and you're good there now the side straps again you want to tuck them in between the seat and the panel so kind of like use your hand to pull back the seat a little bit so that you can see almost underneath the seat and then tuck the strap there same thing on this side okay and then you're just gonna go from behind the seat underneath and strap the buckles. But then once you do that, your bottom portion's all done. So let me do that real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is take your seat and slide it all the way forward. And then you're gonna use these little buttons on your headrest to lift it all the way up. and then take your headrest out. So go ahead and set your headrest aside and we'll get to that here shortly. Now the back portion where the pocket is, you're gonna slide that over top of the seat. There's a zipper on the side where you can unzip it to make it a little bit easier. And again, it's about 38 degrees here in Western Pennsylvania right now. So that colder temperature is gonna make this leather very stiff. That's why it's recommended to install these in a warmer climate or a warmer temperature maybe like a heated garage or just a warmer temperature outside that will make stretching this material a lot easier but since we don't have that luxury of warm weather here right now we're just going to have to improvise and stretch this on okay i find pulling the seat all the way forward and lifting the back all the way forward allows me to get my arm behind it and in front of it and then just grab the front and back of the seat cover and keep pulling it down okay all right now when you get to the top up here you're going to have those little clips that your headrest slides into just go ahead and use your hands and just kind of like tuck the material around the clip Okay, that way the material tucks underneath the clip and you get a nice seamless look and that will give you a much more professionally installed look. And once you get your seat cover pulled down all the way, then go ahead and close your zipper towards the back. Again, you might have to do a little bit of pulling and stretching to get that zipper closed because again, if you do this in a cold climate, this material is not going to stretch as well. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and recline your seat back. Try to stretch your material a little bit more if you can. And then you're gonna take those same plastic oval buckles that are strapped to the bottom of the back seat cover and you're gonna tuck them underneath and fold those under as well. And again, you want them to kind of 
slide under and then kind of flip them up so that that way they don't come loose. All right, here we go. Okay. Okay, so now that we're on the back side of the passenger seat, you just wanna, again, do a little bit of pushing and tugging and don't worry if the zipper doesn't come down all the way if you're in a colder climate because once it becomes like springtime or summertime and the material stretches a tad bit, you can go back through and do a little tugging and pulling and tighten that material up. So once you get to this point here, this flap with these straps and these metal buckles, are gonna fold under the seat and it just grips to whatever metal bracket you can reach under here. Okay, just like that, all right? Then you're gonna go ahead and take your headrest and just look at the contours of the actual seat and then look at the contours of the actual cover. The two front headrest seat covers have a stitching that has the same arch that's gonna match this arch. So make sure you put them on that way. And then basically all you're doing, and you're gonna be doing a little tucking and pushing. So just get one edge of the headrest in there and then just kind of use your other hand and really kind of press down. And you're basically just squishing it on there. Flip it over, do a little bit of pushing and pulling on the other side. Okay, sometimes it's easier to kind of push these pegs on the ground and just kind of push down a little bit. There we go. There we go. And just pull your seams out. Just like that. Okay. Once your headrest is on, go ahead and pull your Velcro tabs out the bottom. Stretch the one across the bottom. Stretch the other one over top of that one. And you're done. Then you can go ahead Put your headrest back in and you're good to go. So a lot of this material is still a little bit stiff, but once it warms up a little bit, you could stretch it more into place a little bit better. And then just go ahead and tuck any of the excess material down into your panels and you'll be good to go. But let's take a look at the front. Okay, like this. You can just go ahead, kind of use your thumb and tuck some of that material behind the panel. And that's what it looks like there. So again, Look at that, that looks real good. It covers the seat pretty much. You might have a little bit of your factory seat cloth showing back here, just a small amount. But again, that's not even that noticeable, but it covers the seat pretty well. So you can see here, looks real good. Look at that, that looks really good. And that's pretty simple to put on. Now again, you can always use like a leather cleaner or a leather conditioner or something like that to keep these clean, wipe them off, keep them kind of flexible. It'll give them a good shine, which we'll come back here and do that here shortly. But that's gonna be the passenger seat there. Let's take a look at the driver's side seat here. There you go. So again, that looks really good. Okay. And then the back seat, same thing. We're just gonna basically be sliding the bottom cover on, strapping it on the bottom, take your headrests off, slide the back on, strap it, put your headrest covers on, just like we did in the front, and you'll be good to go. But this is what I meant earlier about tucking that material around those brackets there, because it just gives it a much more professional look. So let me go ahead and grab those back seat covers. I'm gonna go ahead and install those the same way I installed these, get them all strapped on, and I'll be right back with an update. Okay, so we're finally done and we got all the seat covers put back on. So again, let's check out the front seats. This is what they look like there. Real good. Let's check out the back seat. There you go there. Now putting the back seats on can be a little challenging. So if you happen to have a Ram 1500, like a higher trim model, where you could fold down the center seat here, fold it down, and that gives you access behind the seats to pull that little rope to lower your seats, then that's gonna make installing the back seat covers very easy. But if you happen to have a model like I do, this is a big horn, it does not have the capabilities of folding the seat down, which will make strapping these seat covers to the back of your seat a little more difficult. So at that point, you have two options. Number one, you could go ahead and lift up your seats and actually unbolt the two bolts here and the two bolts back there, okay? 
You take those four bolts out, this whole seat will fall forward. You could go ahead and install your seat cover there. Once it's all done, put it back, bolt it back down, you're good to go. Same thing for that seat over there. You're gonna take the two front bolts out, the two back bolts out, lift the seat up, push it forward, strap in your back seat cover. Once it's all strapped in, put it all back into place, bolt it back down. Or you could do what I did, which is a custom rear seat bracket modification so that when you lift your seat up, my seats actually fold forward. And if you wanna see how I did that modification, I'll post a link to that video in the description of this video. But that's what that looks like. So let me go on the other side. So again, now we're on the passenger side rear seat. This is what it looks like. Again, it even has a little hole cutouts for your button here to fold your headrest down. Okay, real nice, looks real clean. It even has a little zipper here. So if you wanna zipper this down, fold your seat down. So it just has a little strap that straps over this. Real simple and easy when you're done. Fold it up, take your zippers here. Zip it up and you're all good to go. So that's the rear seat there. And when you lift the rear seat up, you're gonna have these straps along the bottom, which again, are a little bit unsightly, but again, it is what it is. Now keep in mind, these are just little plastic straps, but in the future, if these little plastic straps ever fail, you could just go ahead and get little metal S hooks and keep your straps hooked together that way. So if these little plastic straps do end up failing, you can always replace the buckles at a later date. But that's what it looks like in the back seat. Let's go to the front passenger seat. Real nice coverage, looks real good. Blends in real good. And again, when you first take a glance at this, you can't even tell these are really seat covers unless you're really looking for that. But overall, they look really sharp. Real nice feel to them, looks real good. And again, on the back, they do have the pockets. So your passengers in the back seat still have the pockets up here. So you didn't lose that by using these seat covers here. So that's what it looks like there. So these custom leather seat covers are from a company called Custom Interiors and custom is spelt with a K. And I'll put a link to their website in the description box of this video here. But that's what it looks like. And I'm really happy with how that turned out. Installation was pretty simple and easy. Again, the only hard part is going to be the back seat portion here, because again, if you don't have the ability to fold your seat down, again, you're going to have to do it one of two ways. Unbolt your seat and lift the seat forward and strap them in the back or do the modification that I did that allows you to lower your back seat anytime you want. But either way, looks awesome and I'm really happy with it. Okay, so we're all done. So we went ahead and installed a set of black custom leather seat covers from a company called Custom Interiors, and that's spelt with a K. Overall, installation was pretty simple and easy. The quality is amazing. The stitching looks great. The material feels awesome. And I'm really impressed with these seat covers. So at the end of the day, my overall impressions of the Custom Interiors custom leather seat covers, I definitely give them a thumbs up and give them a go. They have different colors available, different styles. They have different stitching patterns. So if you're looking for a set of custom seat covers for your vehicle, definitely go check them out because I think they're a great company. They have great products and they have great customer service. But that's going to be it for today's video. I hope this video helps some of you out. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button and like this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And also do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you. I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.